In this video, you will learn to determine when acid-base reactions occur with a solvent. In this example, we have to determine the first step of a reaction when naproxen, sodium hydroxide, and methanol are mixed together. Naproxen is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, commonly sold as its sodium salt, shown on screen. Methanol is the solvent for the reaction. What do you think is the first step? Although the final product is a carboxylate, the deprotonated form of naproxen, hydroxide does not react with naproxen in the first step. Because solvent is typically present in a huge excess compared to reactants, it will likely collide with the reactants before the reactants collide with each other. The solvent can act as a base, an acid, and take on other roles. We are focusing on acid-base chemistry only. Will the solvent react with either of the reagents to give a new product? We first analyze the reaction of sodium hydroxide and methanol. That gives us the conjugate acid and conjugate base shown. We find or estimate the pKa values of the two acids. In other words, use method 1. Methanol's pKa value is approximately 16. Hydroxide's conjugate acid, water, has a pKa value of 15.7. These two acids are of about the same strength. If we compare the base, hydroxide, with the conjugate base, methoxide, the negative charge is located on an oxygen atom in both cases. There is very little difference between the two. Because there is approximately equal strength on both sides, an acid-base equilibrium will be approximately a 50-50 mixture of starting materials and products. If the reactants were present in a one-to-one -one ratio, However, the solvent is present in a very large excess. What effect will that have on the position of the equilibrium? Le Chatelier's principle tells us that when one reactant is present in a large excess, the equilibrium will shift, or be pushed, toward the product side. If you want, you can review Le Chatelier's principle using this external link. The acid-base reaction between hydroxide and solvent is the first step in the reaction, even though naproxen, with its pKa value of about 5, is a stronger acid than methanol. When dissolved in solvent, the sodium hydroxide will quickly collide with many solvent molecules. Methanol molecules will essentially swallow up the hydroxide ions. What about an analogous reaction between naproxen and methanol? Does the reaction favor the starting materials, products, or is there a 50-50 mixture? Assuming a 1 to 1 ratio of naproxen and methanol, this reaction favors the starting materials. However, there is a large excess of methanol. Is that excess sufficient to drive the equilibrium to products? To know for sure, we can calculate the relative concentration of reactants and products. Using the pKa value of naproxen of approximately 5, calculate the Ka for the reaction to be 1 times 10 to the negative 5. The concentration of the two products is equal. Assume a concentration of naproxen of 1. This will get us to a ratio between starting materials and products. Solve for the concentration of products, P, which gives a value of 0 0.003. This value is many orders of magnitude smaller than naproxen's concentration. This tells us that naproxen is major at equilibrium and this acid-base equilibrium that we've drawn is not a meaningful process in the reaction. You don't have to do this type of calculation or analysis each time. It's only necessary when the type of reaction could lead to a different product. Once we have established the initial role of the solvent, we can look at the products of the first acid-base reaction and see how they can react back with naproxen and continue the reaction from there. Methoxide can collide with and deprotonate naproxen. This acid-base equilibrium favors the products and explains how naproxen's carboxylate form is ultimately generated. Sodium is the counter ion, and overall this pair is known as a sodium salt. The bottom line. Solvent is everywhere in a reaction. It's usually in large excess. We need to continually ask ourselves what role it might play in a reaction and analyze each of the possibilities. If the acid-base equilibrium favors the products, it is likely to be the first step in the reaction. Figuring this out takes time, but gets easier with practice.